Hey folks, today I want to talk about a few plants that are just insanely resilient. These plants have been through the ringer, chopped way back to nothing, and have just exploded back into new growth. And one of them I thought was completely dead until it put out a big flower and I was like, oh my gosh, that thing is alive. How? Some stuff got knocked down by Hurricane Ian. Um, boom. Resurrected. So uh, we're just going to hit some of those plants that are just ridiculously resilient. All right, the first plant is this Everglades tomato. I don't know if you guys remembered, but in a previous video, I hacked this thing way back. I have these borders here and I just cut it. I was ruthless, no mercy. And all that stuff, you can see a lot of the trimmings down here, all this dead stuff. But as you can see, it's just put on tons of new growth, it is um, putting out flowers, and there's even some new green fruit on here. Let me see if I can find it real quick. Oh, there we go. There's some little green tomatoes. So this thing has just gone completely nuts and everything that I cut out, and I cut it back pretty far, has filled back in and new growth is just going wild. So this Everglades tomato is a trooper. All right, this next plant was killed by Hurricane uh, Ian. When it came past, um, it climbed up here. This is the Seminole pumpkin. And it started right over there by those papaya trees. And that's where the main root was. And it covered this whole area and uh, it produced a lot of uh, Seminole pumpkins for me. And uh, I thought, okay, well, the whole thing's dead. You know, it went out to here up in this hedge and it's just dead. But check this out. Right in here, that plant put down roots and hunkered down and is putting on really fresh new growth here and look at this that's even a baby pumpkin i doubt it will ever mature but it's trying and that's pretty wild that it's putting on new growth here and um even some of this over here is getting hit pretty bad by pests but if you go back a little further you have new growth coming out and so i think the winter will eventually kill it but uh for a plant that was not even planted here it planted itself here it started over here and then traveled all the way over here put roots down and when the rest of the plant was killed this little section here has survived and uh, it's flowered multiple times uh, this flower may open up tomorrow or so but that's just wild seminal pumpkin what a trooper all right, this next plant is the chia plant. And uh, just like chia pet, but these are not pets. They're here for production. And that's this guy right here. I mean, they're, they're getting well over six feet tall. And um, as you can see, they're starting to put on uh, a little bloom. That's pretty cool. So uh, little, but I don't know, what do you call them? Seed heads, flower heads, whatever. They'll be blooming soon and they're awesome for pollinators. Pollinators love their flowers and um, they're gonna be producing a lot of flowers here pretty soon. But let me show you what happened to them when we got some strong winds. All right, so pretty normal looking chia plant here, but this plant got knocked over. Look at this. Let's uh, go to the base of this plant. Right here, it was growing up nice and tall, whatever, and it got knocked over. And so it's going along the ground here, and oh, it just puts out another shoot. That has, a flower head on it. So these are the plants that I really noticed that got a, a beating and came back. But I want to show you, there's a few other notable plants I want to just point out and highlight. So these sweet potatoes are extremely resilient. You can knock them down, mow them, whatever. They have a root in the ground and that's their energy source. So they'll pop right back up. So sweet potatoes are pretty sweet. <laughs> All right, another one is this lemon tree. It looks pitiful because I pruned it because I got it from a friend and it was actually sitting outside of a pot, just roots exposed for like a week at least. And uh, I put it in the ground, watered it, gave it some fertility, I don't want to say fertilizer because it's not chemical fertilizer, but check this out right here. It's putting out new growth. <laughs> that is wild and uh, there's a little bit right, there's another little branch coming out right there as well. So I'm hoping this pruning stimulated, stimulates some more growth as well. But uh, that's just pretty incredible that this plant went through so much 
and uh, is putting on new growth, and it, which means the roots are taking. So that's pretty pretty cool. Now, what's even crazier is this lime tree right here was treated just the same as that lemon tree earlier, and it it, it was barely even noticed. I mean, all these leaves are just seem just as happy as can be, and uh, I did prune it a little bit, but it like didn't even know that it was being abused. So. Hopefully now that it's in the ground, in a happy place, it will produce a lot and put on some good growth. So there you have it. Uh, if you are been thinking about stuff that's resilient that you want to grow, um, here's the funny thing about plants. They actually like a little bit of stress. If they're not stressed enough, sometimes they just kind of chill. And uh, it's just funny because, I don't know, you can uh, think about the philosophical truth of that statement on your own. but. Um, yeah, plants like a little stress and they're made to withstand stress. So a lot of times plants will um, surprise you with what they can go through. So here's a few examples in my own garden and there's probably more I could point out but um, that's what I've got for you today. And so I hope it made you think a little bit different about uh, nature and about how your own garden can work.